All right, gang, this is a big one, and it probably deserves a little more attention than we're going to give it in this little piece of a segment right here. But I'm hoping that just by tackling it right now and demonstrating a little bit, it will give you some really great ideas and permission to be more creative, flexible, and novel in your healing work. So we're talking about novelty. At this point, we've got footwork laid out. We've got bridge behaviors. We're talking about sequencing exercises together in order to expound on our dog's motivation and help us approach putting together whole routines. But one of the underlying and fundamental things that we want to make sure we pay attention to and continue to insert into our training up to this point is novel experiences. So if you think about it, if training is a challenge, a fun challenge, and if every time something novel comes up, if we challenge the dog in new ways or in certain new pictures, if it's just an opportunity for them to push harder, drive harder, pay attention more and try harder, and they'll be rewarded for it, they're gonna rise to the occasion, and they're also gonna look forward to the novelty. You wanna go to work, dude? Go to work? You wanna go to work? Opie. Nice, buddy. And I'll just talk you guys through some of the stuff that we're doing. So here we are, normal healing, right? Ooh, he's seen that before. He's been rewarded for it. Lean back into slow has been rewarded. Now I'm adding some duration to our work. He knows this. He also knows how to take information from the head. Ooh, peasy. He also knows spin. Bridge behavior. Ooh, measy. Left about turn followed by a spin. Bridge behavior. Beautiful complement to a left about turn. Could be a nice spinning bridge behavior. Spin. Nice. Beautiful. Okay, good. Yes. Oh, yeah. Spin. Nice. Using the leash to help him spin a little bit, which is fine. Picking up the pace. Give me nice struts. Slow paces have been rewarded heavily, so there's a lot of hope there. Ooh, into normal pace changes. The halts. Beauty, Measy. Opie. Nice, good. Leading with the head a little bit. I offered a little bit of a stale movement right there, or motion right there, because Elzer has learned to work through those stale movements, or moments. A little traversing, side pass, followed by left about, a little traversing, followed by left 90, sorry, not a left about, back into some fast paced stuff, spin. That wasn't expected, but he liked that, can do that, spin, nice, yes. And he earned it that time. Ah, get that easy. Oh. And all that work, a lot of fresh things that I turned in. I actually wasn't talking to him too much. I was talking to you guys more. But that pattern allowed me, good boy, buddy. I got to play with him just a little bit more, to a cycle through a lot of the behaviors that we've been working on up until this point in the class to put together a very nice looking healing routine and also couche create an experience within that learning that supports all of the other things I've been striving for, which is to keep this stuff fun and exciting, and my dog empowered through it, to show him different pictures, to proof the learning that we've done. So not only am I teaching him a ton of stuff, we're having a great time doing it. He looks happy, it's a different experience, I always come through with some fun stuff for us to work on, and I'm accomplishing my goals as well, and it's all based around play, which is what we're trying to accomplish here. So this idea, this is just an example, but I was, what I was trying to do is like a skill mixer, throw a bunch of stuff in. Just an example of how we can use the tools that we've created up until this point, take our toolbox, start throwing things together in order to really create the learning experiences that we want for our dog.